Welcome to The Mobile Producer, your guide on how to make music anywhere you want and how to make it faster and easier than ever before. My name is Benji, and in this video we'll be covering the sampler for GarageBand and iOS. You can record or sample a sound using a microphone or add an audio file and then play it back like a melody on the sampler keyboard. You can save samples to use in other GarageBand songs and edit them in several ways. To open the sampler, tap the browser button, swipe to the keyboard, then tap the sampler button. To record a sample, first tap the start button. Next, play sing or make sound into the built-in microphone or connected microphone. When you're finished, tap the stop button to stop recording. Subscribe now to the mobile producer. Subscribe now to the mobile producer. Subscribe now to the To add an audio file to the sampler, do one of the following. In Tracks view, drag a blue region from an audio recorder or amp track to the sampler track. Or, in the sampler, tap Import, then tap the button to the right of the audio file. To play the sample, tap the notes on the sampler keyboard. The sound plays higher or lower as you play higher or lower on the keyboard. You can play multiple keys to create chords with the sound. The sampler also includes controls that let you change the keyboard range, hold notes, change the keyboard layout and size, bend notes and add modulation, adjust the touch sensitivity, arpeggiate keyboards, or play using a particular scale. These controls are the same as the controls for the keyboard touch instrument. To choose a different sample to play or edit, tap My Samples. Then tap the name of the sound you want to play in either this song or library. When you make sound, the input level meter shows that the sampler is receiving an input signal from your microphone. If your audio device supports software level control or monitoring, the input button is available in the sampler window. First, tap the input button. Then drag the level slider left or right to set the input level. The level slider is available if your input source supports software level control. To set the level automatically, tap the automatic switch next to the level slider. If the input device supports left and right channels, tap left or right to select the input channel. When an external microphone or other audio device, such as a headset or an audio interface, is connected to your device, a monitor switch appears below the noise gate controls. First, tap the input button. Next, tap the monitor switch to turn monitoring on, then tap the switch again to turn monitoring off. In the library, tap the sample to select it, then tap rename. Next, type a new name, then tap done. First, tap the name of the sound in either this song or library, then tap the arrow next to the name. Next, do any of the following. To edit the volume of the sample over time, tap Shape, then drag the points on the curve over the waveform. To adjust the pitch of the sample, tap Tune, then drag the coarse tune for big adjustments or fine tune for small adjustments. To trim the beginning or end of the sample, tap Trim, then drag the handle on the left or right edge of the waveform. You can touch and hold either handle to zoom in for more precise editing. To undo your edits and start over, tap Revert. To play the sample backwards, tap Reverse. To loop the sample so it plays repeatedly, tap Loop. If you edit the volume by dragging the shape points, the volume edits are saved with the sample. Thanks for watching. We just learned all about the sampler and GarageBand for iOS. I want to hear what you've made using the sampler. Post it in the comments below. And if you love making music on your mobile device like I do, click the red subscribe button right now for free weekly tutorials on the latest mobile music apps. The music's by me, and you can listen here. Once again, thank you for subscribing.